Hey everyone, I hope you all had a good, long, relaxing weekend. Um, feel free to comment on the Schoology post what you did this weekend. Um, I would love to hear about it. I really miss just like chit chatting with you guys whenever we used to work on our artwork. So please comment, let me know what you're doing, what you've been up to. Um, so on Friday, I actually met up with uh, all of the art teachers at the other Uplift schools and we all talked about the different things that we're doing and how art class looks different for pretty much all of them. Um, and it's just crazy how things are just so different now, school is so different. So I just want you guys to know that I'm so proud of you guys for just like engaging with the lesson and for posting your art. So I think something that I used to focus on a lot um, the past few years was like the quality of our work and making sure that it was the very best that it could be. But I think now it's more about staying inspired and just being proud of ourselves for um, for making something, for creating something. And um, art is just a great way to express yourself, to relieve stress and to help you focus and relax. So as long as you are doing any of those things then you are doing a great job and I'm very, very proud of you. Okay, so for this lesson, since we are still working on trees, we're gonna focus on branches this time. Um, before we do that though, we are gonna do the breathing exercises and the yoga like we do with every class. So I will have those links in the description as well as on the Schoology post. And our pose for this week is the triangle pose. And this pose is gonna help you stretch out all your muscles and it's gonna help relieve stress. And I also read that it helps with digestion so all good things so make sure you pause this video go do the breathing exercises and the yoga and then come back okay welcome back hopefully you are nice and relaxed and you are ready to make some art so what we are going to do for this class is we are going to learn how to draw birch trees. So I'm going to put up some pictures here of some birch trees and these trees are going to be great for us to practice. Also before we draw these trees, if it does help you and you have the time to, I would go outside if you can and look at trees for some inspiration and try to notice all the little lines you see in them. Do they have little like breaks? or cracks in their branches. How do the branches go? Do they flow like this? Or are they all like intertwined together? You know, just like take some time to look at the lines that the trees make. Also, these trees are great for us because they're mostly like, like light gray, like almost white. So if you don't have colored pencils or crayons at home, you could really just use your pencil to practice. Um, or even if you have a pen, you could use a pen too. Um, I was saying in my classes last week that something that I am doing to try to get better and more confident with my lines is that I'm not allowing myself to erase. So I won't use an eraser or I'll use a pen. So that way um, I'm forced to work with the mistakes that I make and I'm forced to be okay with it. Um, so that's a little tip for um, if you want to get better at drawing, but if you feel more comfortable with the eraser and that's just your style, feel free to do that. So now we're gonna get started. So you can either get your pencil ready or your color pencil or your pen if your parents are okay with that or your crayons, really anything that you have. And now we're gonna start drawing. Thank you. 
Remember for this lesson, we are only focusing on the tree stem and the tree branches. So don't worry about the leaves just yet. So to draw my tree stem, I'm basically drawing a line from the top of the page all the way down. And also feel free to arrange your birch trees however you want to. Like as you can see, my tree, my second tree is kind of leaning towards the right. But if you want to put it on the left side of the other tree, you're welcome to do that. If you want to space them out more, you can. And then here I am adding the branches. So the branches in a lot of trees kind of go out in a Y shape. And then sometimes there's another little extra branch that comes off of that one. So I'm drawing that here. And also another tip when you are drawing trees, um, if you want to go see them outside, you'll notice that none of the lines in the trees are perfect. Like they're never perfectly straight. So the more imperfect the lines are, the more natural it's gonna look. Also, if at any time this video is going too fast for you, feel free to pause it and to go at your own pace. Have fun when you are drawing your trees. Don't overthink it. This should not be something stressful. None of it has to be perfect. We are just practicing right now and all of it is about just being in the moment so don't worry about making it perfect the most important thing is that you are relaxed and you are just having fun As you see here, I've started to add some shading. This is totally optional. If you want to challenge yourself and you want to explore shading, then you can kind of see how I'm doing it here. I'm basically smudging it with my finger. If that's too messy for you, you can use a paper towel. Um, and also some people like to kind of just add the shadows and not have them be very blended. That's also a style that you can do. And you could do this with crayons, anything you're using. And another tip, if you are shading, just remember that whatever is in front is gonna cause a shadow on whatever is behind it. So in this case, I am shading whatever is behind my tree and leaving a shadow.
Okay, good job. So now that you have finished your drawing, I want you to take a step back and just look at it. You know, how do you feel about it? Do you wanna add more detail? Do you maybe wanna save it for another time? Keep working on it another time when you have some fresh eyes, that's fine. Um, and just take this time to tell yourself that you are proud for making something, just for creating and for drawing. And also if you think it looks too bare, just um, in pencil, feel free to add colors. Um, the real life birch trees don't really have a lot of colors, but um, you can make it however you want to. And also you could add the autumn leaves that we were practicing last time if you want to on the background to add a little something extra. So that is all for today's lesson. Um, in the discussion, I would like you to just reflect on your work and, um, and on your life really, and just tell me what is something that inspired you this weekend? Uh, what do you like to do to relax whenever you are stressed out or you feel like you have a lot of feelings? And what is something that you like about your art? And so as an example, I'm going to answer these questions. So something that inspired me this weekend was that I got to see a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in a long time. And um, so I visited my friend in Austin and we actually went swimming out there at Barton Springs, if you've ever been there. And I just love being in the water or just looking at like big bodies of water that is something that has always um, inspired me and always just made me feel more like connected with myself so that was very inspiring to me and also just the nature in Austin just seeing all the trees and the hills it um, it also was a big inspiration for me so for the next question something that I like to do to relax is like I said, I like to be around water, but now that it's getting a little cooler, I can't really do that. So I also love to go watch the sunset. And uh, my favorite spot to watch the sunset is, I don't know if you guys have walked by that white bridge in Dallas, but I live kind of close by there. So I like to walk there and go watch the sunset. Um, sometimes I'll sketch out there too. So. I like to be outside um, to relax. The last question, what is something that you like about your art? So what I liked about my art is that I have never drawn bridge trees before, but it is something that I wanted to teach you guys. And so that is something that I like because um, I love helping you guys and any way that connects us together in whatever way, um, that makes me happy. So that's what I liked about my art today. Um, so that is all for the lesson. Um, please answer the questions in the Schoology post. I can't wait to see all of your beautiful artwork and I can't wait to hear about what you guys have going on. Um, feel free to message me if you have any questions and I will see you next week. Bye guys. Thank you.